Hello, and thank you for watching my Keeping Up video series over the course of the past year. Friday, May 14th, marks the final day of the 2021 legislative session. As I reflect on my first session as a member of the Missouri Senate, a quote from the poet Maya Angelou comes to mind. Do the best you can until you know better. Then, when you know better, do better. This sentiment resonates with me on many different levels, but I'll start with how it relates to serving as the junior senator from Jefferson. With over a thousand bills to consider on hundreds of topics, legislators rely on each other's expertise to thoroughly vet bills. It really is a team effort as we come together from diverse cultures and professional backgrounds. Some senators are educators like me, and some are physicians or work in the healthcare industry. A few are lawyers who can navigate legal and judiciary terms with ease. Others own small businesses or have a background in public service. Even though we come to the chamber wearing different professional hats, we all want the same thing, to do the best we can for the communities we represent and the state we serve. I'm happy to report my Senate Bill 303 is approaching the finish line and if passed, will make improvements to the delivery of workers' compensation benefits and other programs within the Department of Labor. When I pre-filed Senate Bill 71 in December to add pets to protection orders, I knew that using pets as collateral in abusive relationships was a serious issue. But after listening to testimony at the hearing, meeting with violence prevention trade organizations, and hearing suggested amendments from my colleagues, I realized my bill didn't go far enough to protect victims. As a result, we made the bill better by allowing appeals following a change or placement of a child, updating the definition of stalking in state law, and extending the length of ex parte orders to prevent victims from frequent re-traumatizing court appearances. The General Assembly truly agreed and finally passed my bill on May 3rd, sending it to the governor for his consideration. I appreciate the collaborative efforts that went into getting this measure passed and am confident it will help the families impacted by domestic violence do better. Senators know when the legislature gets close to adjourning for the year, there isn't enough time to get their proposals passed, so they try to add the language of their legislation to bills that are doing better and progressing through the process. The language from a couple of my bills hitched a ride, so to speak, on other bills as amendments. My Senate Bill 561 deals with the problem of patient boarding and was added to House Bill 432 to address broader issues within the Children's Division and Department of Social Services. Similarly, components of my Senate Bill 561 relating to food delivery platforms like DoorDash were amended onto the Emerging Technologies language in Senate Bill 176. An omnibus education bill, Senate Bill 152, inched closer to passing in the House this week. During deliberations, the language transformed from creating an education savings program to encompassing a wide range of education reforms. Numerous bills were filed on education savings accounts this session, but these accounts only affect a small portion of students. Instead of legislation only affecting a small percentage of our state's population, I believe we need to take a look at legislation that improves the educational outcomes for all students. I believe one of the most important pieces of legislation passed this year is Senate Bill 262. For the past decade, experts have warned our state's transportation infrastructure is facing serious deficits and a backlog of much needed repair projects. By incrementally raising our fuel usage tax by 2.5 cents per gallon per year through 2025, I know we can make our roads and bridges better and safer than ever. I will close this session's final edition of Keeping Up by thanking the two people who challenged me to know and do better each day, my Chief of Staff, Heather, and my Assistant, Janet. They cheerfully field questions, research bills, manage schedules, and respond to thousands of emails and calls to keep the Gannon ship sailing smoothly. 
Thank you, dear ladies, for helping me serve the great people who reside in the 3rd Senatorial District. During the interim, I look forward to meeting more of these great people, spending time in our communities, and attending as many civic events as possible.